Hello everyone, this lesson is on direct proportion. What does it mean? As one value increases, the other value will increase as well. So for example, let's look at the first um, example number one. They say four books cost 150. So with direct proportion, it means as the number of books increases, the cost will also increase. So that's that's how direct proportion works. And then there's inverse proportion, but we're not gonna do it in this video. In, with the inverse proportion, as one value increases, the other one decreases. Okay, let's look at the first example. Okay, in this number one, they say four books cost 150. How much do seven books cost? There are different methods of doing this question, but I particularly like one. Uh, the one that I like, you see, if you say four books, they cost 150. And then find out how much would one book cost. Then you can calculate any number of books. How do I get one? Four, how do I get one from four? If I divide it for four with four. What I do on the left, I do on the right. So it means one book is going to cost 150 divided by 4. 150 divided by 4. It's going to cost 37 rand 50 cents. Okay, then you can answer any question. So they say how much 7 books cost. 7 books cost. So... Seven books will cost seven times, let me write books, seven books will cost seven times, I need one book cost 37 rand 50. So seven books will cost seven times 37, then seven books will cost 260 two rand fifty cents okay let's look at the next example okay the second question says five t-shirts cost 120 how much will nine t-shirts cost okay so this is our number two we're gonna have five is equals to how much 120 we want one we always find one so we'll divide by five divide by five one will cost you divide with whatever number to make uh, one divide by five okay one t-shirt will cost 24 rand then how much will nine cost nine t-shirts will cost 24 rand times nine if you like, you can say 9 times 25. It doesn't make a difference. 24 rand times 9. 90 cents will cost 216 rands. Let's look at the third question. Okay, number 3. It takes 3 men 6 hours to repair a road. How long would it take? It have taken 2 men. Okay, so 3 men. They took six hours to repair the road. So we need to find one man. So we need to divide by three both sides. One man. It's six divided by three. It's two hours. So for one man, he will take two hours to repair the road. Then our question was asking us, how long would it take for two men? For two men to repair the road so two men is equals to two times two hours that is taken by one man so it's four hours okay this is the best way of doing it if you just find one of each whatever question they are asking you then you can calculate any number of the other thank you for watching this is the end of our lesson